Hello all, in this particular tutorial, we will learn how to recover from old control file. Sometimes when you start your database, you will get an error. File is more recent than control file, old control file. And this happens because your control file is at the older version while your data files are at a newer version. And the checkpoint information between the control file and the data file does not match and you end up with this error. So when you start the database, the error that you will see is aura. 01207 file is more recent than control file old control file the database will be stuck in the mount mode you will not be able to open the database unless you don't resolve this error you have to fix this error for you to open the database now how do you fix this error so the the fix is you back up the control file to trace so you'll say alter database backup control file to trace and give the location create control file dot you create another copy of the control file which will be used to create the control file and how to do that i'll show you in a minute so you copy this control file to another one and edit it in such a way that you can recreate the control file so first you back up the control file then you recreate the control file using this particular copied file once that is done you recover the database using backup control file then you will recover the database using rman and then you will open the database in the set locks mode so let me repeat the steps first back up the control file to trace recreate the control file Recover database using backup control file. Recover database using rmen. Alter database open reset logs. So open the database in reset logs mode. Now, if you want to recreate this scenario in your home lab, these are the steps. Open the database. Note the name of control file because we are going to play with the control file. Perform some transactions. Copy the control file while the database is open. Copy the control file while the database is open. Perform some more transactions shut down the database replace the current control file with the copied so replace the current control file with the copied so bring the control file to the older version so your data files are at the newer version your control file is at the older version try to open the database boom database crashed you will not be able to open the database and you will face this error file is more recent than control file let's begin let's begin so let's look at our database so let's connect to the database so set up the environmental variable that's done connect to the database as sysdba that's done verify which state your database is in look at the open mode and it is in read write mode that looks good note the name of the control file as i mentioned we are going to play with the control files so note the name of the control file so these are the two control files. Keep a note of them. That looks good. Open another session. Perform some transactions in the database. Perform some transactions. So any transactions, create a table, insert some records, any transactions, perform some transactions. That's done. Go back to here. And what you do yeah so while the database is open as you as i mentioned the database is still open i have not closed it you, i can show it to you so the database is open while the database is open copy the control file to some locations anywhere of your choice these are very small files these are not big files so you don't need a lot of space so copy both of these control files so i'm giving here star so it will copy one and two so that's done now perform some more transactions after you copy it so you are going to perform some more transactions. So let the transactions complete the second round of transactions. And once that is done, go ahead and shut down the database. And once the database is shut down, what you do, you remove the, the control files. So give it a minute for the shutdown to happen. So you remove the current control file from the, the location. So I'm going to remove both of them. So that looks good. So I'm going to remove the control file. That looks good. So I've removed the control file. Copy the, the, older, the older version of the control file. So what you copied, the previous version, copy them back. Try to start your database now. And your database will face this error. 
file is more recent than control file, your database will not open. Let's start our database. And you will see that our database is not opening. Let's wait for the open to happen. Give it a minute. And you can see file is more recent than control file. Now, let's try to open the database one more time. Let's see alter database open. As I mentioned, you will not be able to open the database. You still get the same error. Let's go to the admin prompt. Let's connect to admin prompt. And let's try to see if we can recover the database. And it will, the recovery will say that you need to restore the data file. So you can see data file one must be restored. But the problem is the, what is trying to do is like it's trying to take the data file back in time. So that's what it is trying to do. But we know that data file in the, the data in the data file is more recent. The control file is older version. So issue issue is not with the data file. Issue is with the control file. So we need to fix the issue with the control file, not with the data file. So how do you do that? So what we need to do, as I mentioned, let's <clears throat> and the database is currently in the mount mode as i mentioned it is stuck in the mount mode while the database is in the mount mode let's dump the trace file into some location i'm going to show you this command and anyway i've shown you already but alter database backup control file to trace and give some location so i'm going to do this so database altered now what you do you copy this file this dump file into another file copy is done edit this particular file and here you will see multiple create control statements we delete everything and keep here it says no reset logs archive log it won't work so we are not going to use no reset logs we are going to use the reset logs archive log yeah this so i'm going to delete everything and i'm going to just keep one section here and i'll save this and i'll show you one more time how this file looks like so let me clear this and let me do the cat on this particular file so that you can see so you can see create control file the name of the database reset logs archive log and it recreates the control file so what we are going to do now we are going to recreate the control file so let's take this command go back to the and to recreate we need to have our database into the no mount mode so let's shut the database give it a minute That looks good. Start the database in no mount mode. We are here right now. So we have, we have done this. We have created this, but we have not recreated the control file for this. The database has to be in the no mount mode. So we are starting. So we have started the database in no mount mode. So now we are going to recreate the control file using this particular file that we cre recreated. So let's host clear at give the complete path control file created. That looks good. The next part is what we need to do is we need to now recover the database using backup control file. So let's say recover database using backup control file. And here type auto that looks good now go to the rman prompt and let's recover the database so we are here so we have done 
we recreated the control file. Then we said recover database using backup control file. Then we said recover database. And now the final step, alter database, open, reset logs. So let's do that. That is the final step. And once that is done, let's give it a minute. Database altered. Look, check whether your database is in the read write mode. And you can see the database has been successfully opened in the read write mode. So we have fixed the error. This particular error file is more recent than control file. And the way we did it is like we recreated the control file. We recovered the database using backup control file. We recovered the database using RMAN and then we finally opened the database in the set logs mode. I hope this tutorial was useful. But just and before I end this particular tutorial, I would like to highlight one thing that make sure you take a full backup because you have done some, you know, you have recreated the control file. So it is always better to take a full backup after once you have done this. Again, let me say thank you for watching. See you in next tutorial. If you did like the video, if you did like the content, do subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thank you and see you in next tutorial. Bye bye.